All right, guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So we got a new LR released into Dokkan. Um, now, after the ninth anniversary, um, Dokkan really, I think, has kind of turned things around. Um, there certainly was a lot of negativity. I mean, very well-founded in different areas, you know, about various parts of Dokkan. But um, I think in one area in particular, Dokkan has improved massively in 2024. And that's just the quality of characters being released. A lot of times throughout 2023, we were getting characters who just flatly were not that exceptional. So they were solid characters. You could gas them up to look good in a perfect situation. But a lot of them just simply weren't as good as we'd like. Um, this year, that's not really so much of an issue. Um, but when they drop a character who maybe isn't completely up to par, it does become very obvious. The ninth anniversary was so stacked with insane, uh, almost uh, nuts characters um, that it, it's just it's very difficult to be a top ten LR right now. Um, period. Like y you have to be truly crazy. Um, so that's why we're doing a yellow coin LR list update here uh, for Ultimate Gohan. I mean, as you guys can probably tell, uh, I do not believe Ultimate Gohan has what it takes. To be a top 10 LR um, in the game currently. No way. All right. We'll start at number 10. Uh, we can move kind of fast at the bottom here. Uh, these characters have niche roles. Especially this guy. Uh, the end of this list is not in a good spot. So we have like... So I, I could actually just pull up. We could just quickly skip over to this right here. So the last Yellow Quint LR tier list I did. This is kind of what this bottom row looked like right there. Um, I think amongst all these characters, I could safely put Super Boo, like, first among these uh, seven down here at the bottom right there. Um, because LR Super Boo, obviously, since that's happened, you know, we've had uh, Dokkan Fest Fat Boo, Easy Exchange Boo, like, all these characters. LR Super Boo can function as the final character on that team. Uh, now, he is horrible, so you do have to hide him mostly. But, I mean, especially in maybe certain fights, I mean, you know, Supreme Battle Spectacle Gogeta, he is guaranteed guarding the whole time. You usually, you do usually have to hide this guy. He's not very impressive defensively. Um, he could do a little damage. I found it pretty tough to get his active skill, but he still does have a very good active skill if you get it. Um, I don't know. I mean, he, he fits on the Boo team. A lot of those characters are just not really too crazy. Um, even though I'm not the biggest fan of Boo, I mean, if, if we just, again, take a look at this, I mean, I feel most comfortable putting this list out and releasing it, probably with Boo there. Next, I, I don't even know. It, it's, again, these characters, all of these guys down here have very, very niche uses, um, at this point. So, all right, let's go ahead and grab the next character on the list. We have LR uh, Golden Frieza. Um, now, LR Golden Frieza, uh, he certainly has fallen off later in fights in terms of how he can um, take a lot of damage and stuff like that. I mean, this is a character from the 2022 meta, but with how explosively good he is defensively at the start of fights, um, it's very easy to make use out of him. Cell Max is... I mean, it is a tricky fight to grade. I mean, you know, I always see discussion about if it's the hardest fight, if it's not the hardest fight. But I think it's a meaningful fight. It's very important towards seeing how good a character is compared to other characters based on the fights. I think the Cell Max fight is good to see how good a character can perform. Um, Golden Frieza is a great character. Uh, for the Sal Max fight for two reasons. Number one, obviously, his impressive damage reduction at the start of the fight. And then as you get deeper into the fight, he does have an attack debuff as well, which can really help you in that Sal Max fight. He's mostly here just for his presence in the Sal Max fight, but, I mean, he's still going to be a lot better than a lot of the other characters we were looking at. Uh, next, we have Vegeta and Nappa. Now, I mean, again, I'm not going to go super crazy about Vegeta and Nappa. Let me just grab the next character to uh, 16, 17, and 18. I mean, these bottom four, I, there's a there's a gap between the next couple of characters and these bottom four. I think Vegeta and Nappa could be a little bit better if they had, you know, better uh, Terrifying Conquer type characters and stuff like that, where we probably would want to run them on. Like, like this, this whole 
like array right here terrifying conquer inhuman deeds space traveling warriors a lot of overlap like one of these teams needs to be filled out to be made a real team this character's got some abilities between Nappa's Guaranteed Dodge, um, Vegeta giving you the massive heal, Vegeta being pretty strong defensively once he comes out. The character can do a little bit. I don't want to go super crazy, like pretending like they're, oh my god, so crazy, but they've got some abilities that could help. 16, 17, and 18, I think, could easily function as a pretty solid character, as kind of like the last character on Android 21's team. Um, in a bad situation, you could YOLO try and dodge it with them, since they are a dodge character. But one thing I noticed, I, I'm seeing people talk about Super Easy A Physical Kid Buu, who's not even out yet. And the way they talk about him, they act like he doesn't give 70% support. Like, it's crazy. Like, people... Just let the, like, support characters, the fact that they're giving support, they let that shit just fly right over their head, right? Like, think about this character just in slot 3, buffing 21, buffing some of these other characters. Um, I like this character. De uh, support characters with good defensive mechanics are, simply put, good. That's it. End of story there. Alright, so now we're going to move into a better class of characters. The top 6 I do think there's probably a significant gap, probably up to the top six. Uh, Ribrian, I mean, there's a lot of issues with this character. I hate their orb changing. T creating this many type orbs and you're not a slot one character, it's just cumbersome. It, it just gets, in, it's annoying. It gets in the way. Ribrian will create a full field of tech orbs and you can't put Ribrian on slot one. And it, it, it could just hurt when you're trying to get orbs for other characters. I found it to just be a huge pain in the ass, right? Like you could do shenanigans with like the eighth anniversary LR spirit bomb and stuff like that. Sure. But I, 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 I'm not a huge fan of LR Ribrian's orb changing. Um, but the thing about LR Ribrian, short and sweet, she has a very similar ability to Orange Piccolo. Giant form, two-turn giant form, guaranteed two-turn ability, which means you're guaranteed to cancel the boss super attacks, which means, uh, you know, Ribrian has one of these team protection mechanics that is so valuable. So that puts LR Ribrian at kind of a higher tier than a lot of these other characters. Just having this is crazy. Ribrian, the, the defensive ability for this character is at least good enough leading up to the final phase a lot of these fights where she can handle herself um i would like to give her a try maybe against kid boo that new kid boo fight is going to be fun going to be a lot of videos coming up those attempts per day are going to be very valuable for me as i test out characters um i think one of the first big characters i want to start by testing out characters on gp only of course uh i'm probably going to work on topo and ginyu and stuff like that um, first, um, but Ribrian is on that team, so we'll be seeing her. All right, so next, we can go ahead and take a look at Broly Chilai and Lemo. Um, this is a really good character. Um, I really like what they gave, gave with her easy. Let me grab the next character, too, which is UI, which is is a little similar. The only reason I have UI above Broly Chilai and Lemo, by the way, is that UI is just very simple. You're just, bam, 70% dodging. Now, I, I just... The discussion about this character is people pretend like, oh, what, but they have 100% dodge. Well, they have 100% dodge when you have seven orbs. I mean, if you got seven orbs, yeah, of course. I mean, they can't be tough. They, they have the strongest mechanic in the game, which is 100% dodge. <laughs> like, yeah, absolutely. But, I mean, I found it to be, you know, it's, it's again, it's not something that's going to be consistent. It's not guaranteed. Um, and if you don't have the seven orbs, they are what? High chance to dodge, right? Uh, I've had a lot of deaths with this character, but they do have a plethora of tools between the guaranteed dodge, their high chance to dodge, their support is incredible. I will always find myself running this character when they're doing shit like this is great, great support. I love it. I love it so much. They do also have uh, a little damage reduction support if you're running super bosses or movie bosses. That could be helpful, especially if there's seven orbs you can put on the saw one. That could be a very good ability. Uh, but then one thing that really turned me into a lover of this character uh, is their orb changing. Now, this isn't too crazy. It's helpful, but this is not going to guarantee seven orbs. They should have made this potentially even rainbow orbs. But this ability is really great. The ability to just change the entire field of orbs 
into a single typing. That's going to be a full heal. So when your HP is super low like this, they're going to full heal HP reset you plus have 100% dodge. A very strong tool. Uh, this is a very good character. You could easily put them above SCR UI. Um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it like this just because so many times it's just like, all right, coin flip time with the 50% dodge. Right, whereas UI at least went... There's a huge difference between 70. And the thing is, is that with UI, a lot of times, nowadays, it's not even going to be 70, but it's going to be 77 or maybe 84%, depending upon Reps unit or 7 allies on the rotation. Because Blue Kaioken, Evolution Blue Vegeta, EGL UI, and Evolution Blue Vegeta are exceptional characters. So you could easily have that guy with 77% dodge or 84% dodge, which is very good. Uh, next is LR Ultimate Gohan. Yep, here, right here is where he comes in. Um, I think we could just, we'll just fill out the rest of this. Uh, I know some people are gonna be not uh, happy with this, but then we have Bulma and then we have Ginyu. That, that's that's what the top of this list is looking like. Uh, all right, we could talk about these characters now. Um, now, okay, LR Ultimate Gohan. How good is he? He's pretty good. He's pretty good. Pretty solid. But the problem. There's a couple of problems. Number one, he is basically just LR Cooler, right? Except he's guarding, which does make a massive difference because LR Cooler can't take hits. And a, a bigger problem for LR Cooler stems down to this, right? Whereas LR Ultimate Gohan, we have Tech Ultimate Gohan. It's like a perfect linking partner. And it's like, you know, so we could get a lot of these up and stuff like that. Final Form Cooler, I mean, and number one, he's not guarding. But number two, uh, you know, Big Bad Bosses and all those types of links, all those characters suck. They're all fodder now. Right, like that Dokkan has not really stepped into the thirst for conquest big bad bosses to really fill that out in twenty twenty four since we've had kind of the big meta reset of the ninth anniversary. So it's like you know, it's very easy for people to say he's just a LR cooler. Well, yeah, except the guards and his partners are actually good. Uh, it's it does make kind of a big difference. Um, Gohan does have a bit of uh, support as well. I mean, in particular the Cell Max fight, his intro support is really nice. Um, he does buff Majin Buu Saga category allies. I do kind of wish that this was just for, like, super class allies or something like that. But it definitely is still nice. But one of the huge issues with this guy... I, I mean, this is just a me thing. Maybe it's a me problem. But it just simply is he supers, and then he does four normals, man. Or we do three normals. It, it's just normal, 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 normal. Like, he's not really doing that much compared to better characters. That's it. I, like, when he just comes out, I, I don't care about damage like that. Like, every good character is doing damage. You pull out the top 10 LRs, like LR Blue Gogeta with the crazy dodge and the huge active skill taunt mechanic, the, the team protector ability, and he's doing crazy damage at the same time. Beast Gohan is literally untouchable. He's doing huge damage at the same time. Evolution Blue Vegeta is untouchable. He's doing huge damage at the same time. Like, you are not special just because you do damage it doesn't even really matter good characters are always going to be doing at least reasonable damage along with better mechanics all this guy has is damage and it's just like guess what like I, it's not even the biggest deal like he cool dude like i'd run bulma over him now bulma is not what she was right because bulma was so far ahead of the game i mean outside of maybe orange piccolo right you just sit her ass and saw one she couldn't be hurt She's rainbow orb changing. She's multiple turns supporting. She has her busted active skill, which is really good. The difference now is she's not really competently sitting in slot one. But this character has not really fallen off that much. This character at her, dude, her support. Like, do people understand how broken this is? Like, we, we do, right? And then she's also rainbow orb changing. Like, and she's guarding with damage reduction. I mean, if you built her correctly, which is full dodge. I mean, I'd hope you guys would have her full dodge, obviously. Uh, I mean, dude, like, she she can handle herself in these big fights. LR Bulma is still really good. And she's probably going to be really good for a while because she's guarding with damage reduction and stuff like that. You sit her in slot three and she's going to contribute heavily to the team. Between her, her rainbow orb changing, making orbs. I mean, orbs nowadays more than ever are very important. What orb paths you get and stuff like that. So many characters need particular type amount of key, particular types of orbs, all that stuff. At Bulma just helps immensely. Bulma is a great character. I just just Gohan doing damage. Who cares, kid? At Bulma, 
is actually just going to make the team overall better. They're going to be doing more damage. They're going to be stronger defensively. She's going to make the orb stuff easier on them. Um, she does have a debuff as well, right? Like, you know, those stuff, those help. I mean, Gohan doesn't have any debuffs on him. At, like, that kind of matters. I mean, you know, LR Kit or the new Kit Boo red zone fight, debuff. Gogeta, debuff. Cell Max, debuff. It's a lot of fights for that matters. And Bulma's got a debuff. And the number one is Ginyu. Ginyu is really, this character is really good. And again, support, man. I, like, this character is stupid good. And I feel like they, to me, once Tech Gotenks got added to the team, this became very reasonable to aim for right there. I've found that you just run this character, Tech Gotenks, as a rotation. That shit's pretty comfortable. And you could easily get LR Ginyu support while still aiming to potentially get that stack to make the character even a lot better. Um, you know, because obviously Int Gotenks, the problem with Int Gotenks is that he has signature pose and base, right? So it's not, it doesn't serve the same role. Um, but that Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, like he's not sharing key links with this character, which is perfect for this character and for Tech Gotenks. So it works out super well. Um, this character, if, if we had a relevant Ginyu Force unit to rock with them, oh my god would be so crazy but they're still busted i i think that this character should work super effectively in the kid boo red zone fight which i'm eager to show off um so we'll see i'll probably do a couple of videos with the special pose team just highlighting certain characters but i think the special pose team should do rather well against kid boo topo should do rather well against kid boo all the topo because one thing about the kid boo red zone fight too is you know he's blocking all of your attacks you know, all the, oh, so many, it's unbelievable how many characters are filled with melee attacks. You know, how about, you know, LR Ultimate Gohan, his active, and the unit super. Like, characters are filled with these melee supers. All the best characters. Beast Gohan has it. AGL UI Goku has it. In Evolution Blue Vegeta has it. All these good characters have melee supers. And, uh, you know, Ginyu, I think, is not going to be a problem. So, between all the support that the Ginyu Force has given... Um, I just find this character to be so, so crazy. And they have, I mean, one of the best active skills in the game. It's hard. There's so many different characters to pick from when it goes, oh, best active skill in the game. But this is, you know, a very crazy active. I, like, I have high praise for this. So let me know what you guys think um, about the top 10 that we've got right here. Um, I, yep, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Yeah, I do feel good about this. Um, I think that this does kind of represent uh, what we've got going um, right now pretty well. Uh, here's the way I'll put it like this. Um, again, I don't really see separation from any of the characters in kind of like the Z tier. I don't think that Rip Rian, like her contribution to the team is not like that minuscule that it's not like in the same tier as like LR Ginyu. Because if you just get to the hardest boss phase and you take away their ability to super, you're taking away a lot of these bosses, the, the shit that makes them the scariest. So, there's that. Um, and again, not really too many changes from uh, April 18th, about a month ago. Um, we just slide in LR Ultimate Gohan. Um, and then I, I, I feel like with the Boo team being a real thing, I was comfortable just putting Boo as the best of this tier. But, I mean, these characters are have very limited contributions in ninth anniversary level events, right? Um, I, Rose is probably is solid but he doesn't really have defensive mechanics which hurts him so uh let me know what you guys think uh thanks guys for watching and i'll catch you guys next time